Welcome back to the second episode of my Unturned Survival Guide where I'll be showing you in this video some gameplay and going through some tips and tricks which will help you out hopefully in your survival. So searching off you go and choose a character and we want to set you want to set the skill on police officer. This makes you specialize in exercise and specializing in exercise and toughness as well but the main focus is exercise because even if you die and you have some points in exercise you'll be able to run much faster and use less stamina basically in this video i'll be playing on normal uh, difficulty but i think you should play on easy if you're a complete beginner slash noob and if you're going to join a server you just click on play internet and choose easy and you click again to refresh and you just join any one of them but in this video i'll be playing on a single player to give you some gameplay okay guys so now that i'm in game what you'll want to do is press on m it brings up the map and gives you some info the players and group as mentioned before you could make a group in game just click on it and create a group and you could invite people but what we want to focus on before talking about this stuff is the uh, uh, thing on the bottom left so this is the heart it's basically the HP that you have this is a hunger level and this is a water level this is the immunity this is your stamina and this is your air basically so if you get hit this goes down and throughout playing the hunger level and water level will also go down and you have the immunity if you get hit by a zombie if you eat uh, raw food or if you eat food that has a durability less than 50 percent it's basically kind of raw so if your immunity goes below 50 percent it's going to start to decreasing and you need some sort of medication like a vaccine or uh, antibiotics to bring it back up and you move with WASD and sprint to shift and we have M for map G for your inventory and Y to craft and U for skills so you have hands which is basically always available I have the police top, bottom and cap because I chose police officer but it only gives it to you in single player usually in multiplayer you just have hands okay so you drop items take it off by just clicking and you could drop items by uh, right clicking and click on drop or you could equip it or you could just click on control and left click and left click and to pick it up you just click and put it in your inventory or you could control and left click and yeah so that's it let's take it off and what you'll want to do is find the map because it shows you where you are exactly but since I've been playing for a while I know my exact location right now and what I usually do if a server is crowded, I'll go to a farm to start looting because it doesn't have that much people and it's usually empty. If the server is empty, I'm playing single player right now, I could go into a town like that one or I could go to a military base. <clears throat> but if there are some players, just start off with a farm and we have one right here. Okay, so we have a zombie right now. You usually don't want to fight it if you're still a beginner <clears throat> but if you have some experience you could try and kill it but you have to be careful because you could end up bleeding so what you want to do wait a second give it a hit and run back hit and run back okay so it gave us a fishing top and you could see the durability on the left which is 48 and there are lots of zombies inside what you're usually looking for is some <clears throat> is a melee weapon because it doesn't cause that much noise and you could press x uh, to crouch like that want to go inside 
Take the vest, and by the way, when you hit it, try to aim for the head. Oh boy. <laughs> it gives more damage, and you dropped a hellcound. So, this is a weapon, but you don't usually want to use a weapon because it leads to a lot of noise. This is a headlamp, and it's good uh, during the night because it's usually darker. And yeah, and let's take the fishing top. You could click on G, jump, click on G, and pick it up. And this is called a crawler, and it's a zombie that sprints. It it's, it doesn't have that much HP, but it almost hits you if, you do, if you're just using your hands. And if you have a melee weapon, you could actually stun it, which will stop it in place. But I want to enter this area, but there are lots of zombies, so I'll just clear them. Okay, so I killed them and it dropped some wheat, but you don't want to pick it up because it has 22% durability. But you could take it and turn it into seed. And seeds don't have any durability, so you could actually grow it back. You could only grow it on grass, so you cannot grow it on an actual street. Or if you have some kind of plot, which we'll talk about later. Okay guys, so now that I've cleared them, and I'm inside the house, we'll take the chains, and this one, and this one. And we'll take that one, and the arrow. And by the way guys, you should always look for crossbows especially in these kind of forms because they deal a lot of damage and they don't make any noise and if you make some noise you'll find a lot of zombies following you so now you click G and we'll see what we have so we have two new shirts and I know that this one is bigger than the ones that I have and now we have two of these so we don't want to throw them away we'll take them and you right click and salvage and you get six cross and you right click turn into rag turn into rag and turn it into rag so this basically heals you up and two rags gives you one bandage and two bandages gives you one dressing so you should always pick up the extra clothes and turn them into bandages because it's going to heal you and let's take the bandage and my HP is back up and by the way I also picked up uh, this shotgun thing because if in case if you find the shotgun it's going to help you out and now that I have a paddle it's going to be much easier to kill them because I'm going to stun them in place and you have a sport shot if you're not going to use it you could just pick it up right click you could strip it which will remove its ammo or you could salvage it and when you salvage it you could use it to make lots of stuff that includes buildings uh, repairing stuff and it has lots of uses you could see in craft but i'll make another video about crafting so you could repair the arrows that i have now make its durability 100% so it deals more damage basically and here's another one the same thing salvage and use the metal scraps so after I clear the city what I'm going to do is turn them into bandages you could go to craft click on supplies and make crag bandage and dressing and you click on control to make it faster basically and you could make some splints it heals your leg if you broke your leg so let's just say if I jump on top of that building to the ground I could lead to breaking my leg and I'm not going to be able to sprint or jump so it basically heals it up and I have my bandages and yeah so I want to talk about skills now I have 24 experience you could see it here because you get experience when you clear up zombies or when you chop down trees and when you get some XP you want to choose exercise and since I specialize in it I'm going to spend much less points and I could upgrade it and once you're done with exercise I would recommend going into cardio and then some parkour points and maybe you could 
go to sharpshooter and then diving and if you're confused between parkour or sharpshooter first I usually go with parkour it makes you jump higher and jump over fences if you max it out and sharpshooter is also good if you're a beginner because it may it basically may increases the accuracy that you have and makes aiming much easier compared to zero points in it and yeah so since I've cleared this city we'll go into a town so on my way to Seattle I found this thing and it's basically some military cars that were basically destructed this is actually a good area it doesn't have much players and it gives you some good loot like a military vest and any, and any military item basically gives you more armor so you should definitely go for military items and the extra class turn it into healings and use it and for to use a dressing or rag or bandage or med kit whatever you have you open your inventory and you right click and you add a hotkey to use it easier so let's just say I have a rag and you right click it and click on the hotkey you want so let's and it's usually a number so let's go with four now if I click four I could get it instead of right clicking and clicking on equip and in this area you'll find some good loot and you want to go for military always but I have a problem which is that zombie so to make aiming much easier I usually go in third person by clicking on H and try to aim for the head and I may actually miss it I didn't so as you can see it brings more zombie and now you should lose this area and you find if you find the box like that one you usually want to take it because it you it's used to refill some ammo and there are three different types so this one refills high caliber so it's good if you have a sniper and there is a low caliber and another one that's green i believe and yeah and we have a military knife which you usually want to take always it has the it's basically the best knife in the game it stuns enemies and if you right click which is the heavy attack it usually one shots them and also if you have a bow it's really good if you have a bow because it's like a silent killer it doesn't make much noise and if you aim for the head it does the same thing and a heart breaker so let's equip it yeah so let's go into the city and while you're moving i wouldn't recommend walking on the street you should always walk between trees and any kind of thing that you could take cover and hide behind it and you could use third person to your advantage as you could see by clicking e and q you could see behind the tree without actually peeking and when you peek you shoot and you're also prone to increase your accuracy and hit more things Okay guys, so now on in the first station, you have the flare and you have the closes of the first fighters and we have a fire axe. So a fire axe could be used to kill zombies or could be used to chop down trees. We have chainsaw, camp axe and fire axe with the chainsaw being the fastest one to chop down a tree and fire axe being the slowest one. So you usually want to have one of them. In case you build a house and do anything basically and you could use it to kill some zombies as well and we have the flare which gathers the zombies also, that one ended coming up and yeah and next to it is the police station which is usually a good place you usually find good weapons in it and you'll find some good stuff and it's basically always the police station or military and we have the low caliber ammunition so let me show you what it does so we have the hawk hound which is my weapon currently let's clear up the inventory and i'll show you how to reorganize it in a second so we have the hawk hound if i strip it to see the ammo that i have inside i click on t by the way to open this thing up and click on it to strip it and now I'll right click refill 
and when you refill it you use the low caliber however it doesn't work on all weapons let's just say I have the heartbreaker it doesn't allow me to refill it because I need another kind of thing not that one and not that ammunition box now to organize it you want to throw out some of the stuff that you have and start picking up your main items take the weapon and put it down for a second and put the, that one here collect the, these things and you have six and three uh, cobra magazines what you could do is refill and basically add the three and six and make it into one line cobra magazine now we'll have nine and zero you could get rid of that one and it clears up some space or you could keep it in case you want to use the cobra and you should also look inside of here it has some good stuff like that one that's a really good weapon and you could use it and you should also collect these stuff turn them into cloths and handcuffs are used to handcuff a player and how you do that is if a player surrenders how you surrender you basically click C and you could wave maybe surrender so if someone is surrendered you could handcuff him and he wouldn't be able to get out his gun or use it and we have some tape tape is really good because if you find some binoculars which you could find in houses and stuff like that you'll be able to use it to make some kind of scope I'll show you in a second when I find a binocular and you should focus on food and the water level because when it goes down you may die from dehydration or from basically starving to death and a tomato you could make a tomato seed so you look for food in houses and grocery stores and cafes and this is a sleeper zombie I believe I don't really remember its name it has more HP and you don't want it, want it to hit you because if it hits you it's going to make you bleed and in case you bleed you should use some some of the healings a bandage maybe to stop the bleeding a splint doesn't stop the bleeding and there's a mega zombie so <laughs> mega zombie drops raiding items and if you see it at this level you don't want to fight it even me at that level it's going to be somewhat difficult to fight it because it has lots of HP and it's really hard to kill and what I'm looking for right now is a saw because it's going to help me make some crates and I could store in the crates oh boy and we have a housing planner this is a new item and it's an awesome item actually it makes you build easily and we will use it in a second okay guys so right now I'm at the gas station what I'm looking for in the gas station there's a flashlight it's it's good during uh, the night time I'm looking for a gas can to get some fuel and I'm looking for a blowtorch, a blowtorch to repair the vehicles and the gas can in case you find a car it's going to be really good to refill it and steel wheelie allows you to steal a car if, some, if the owner locked it so what I'm doing right now is actually not the safest option you usually don't want to come to the main city but since I'm playing in single player just came to the main city here's a good backpack, gives you lots of space so usually you want to sort off in some smaller cities, things like Takuma, it's going to be good. And maybe visit Scorpion 7 if you're playing on Washington. And on other maps you also want to go for smaller towns. Going to a big city is a big risk, especially in multiplayer. If the server has a low amount of players, you could risk it because you'll end up with good loot, which will be enough for a couple of hours for you and yeah killer. so you want to click on Y to craft and you could just search in here for scope and it requires one binocular and one tape but it says requires crafting one so you go back to skills go back to health and crafting you add one point to it and you make it now once you made your own scope it's going to make aiming much easier especially in first person it's really hard to aim so you click on T you add the scope 
You could also add some attachments. It's tactical laser to improve your accuracy. Now aiming becomes much easier. However, there is some accuracy. And it becomes much easier to kill. And along the way, you want to visit a pharmacy to get some medical stuff. So we have antibiotics, painkillers, my bad. And some cough syrup, antibiotics. I could use some antibiotics right now because look at my immunity, it's 76%. So if I use it, it's going to give you some HP and increase my immunity. And I got the this kit, it gives you lots of HP, this is an med kit, but it gives you lots of HP as well. Your main focus right now should be getting some food and basically preparing yourself to make a simple home and put and you should try to find the saw a saw is really important in order to make a storage crate <clears throat> and i have a camp axe i left it in the fire station i'll go get it in a second you should use it or a, or a fire axe any kind of axe basically to chop down trees get some xp and put points in exercise or cardio depends on what you're at right now and build a home and you should also make some use of beds craft a bed using nine nine of these nine cloths and also try to wear a black lava because it covers most of your head and not a bandana so there are some good weapons in here <laughs> really good weapons <laughs> so once you pick them up you'll want to make a bed Let's just salvage them and we make a bed. A bed sets a spawn point to you and if you die you could come back here and it's going to help you out. So let's get our axe, let's go build simple Okay, home. so I got my first tree and it gives you some sticks which are going to help you when you make your crates. And by the way, there is a thing I want to mention, each town has its own borders and if you leave the border of the town the zombies won't be able to follow you so the zombies have some kind of border and the zombies cannot also swim so if there is like five zombies six zombies following you you could leave the town by coming by leaving the border basically or you could go into water and they won't be able to follow you so right now we have our thing and if you type in here pine that is the type of tree You'll find that you have lots of options. You want to sort off with the floor, base. Type in here floor. Get a floor, and we'll. I'll go for a simple one by one base just for demonstration. And you'll need four pillars to place uh, three walls and one doorway and one roof. So, okay, guys. So now that it's on, it's almost getting dark outside. So let's make a campfire, which you would use in home. Type in campfire, place it. It gives you some lightning. Uh, this is not the best placement, so I'll salvage it. Put it here, maybe. And we could put our bed. Uh, here we go. I'll have a golden building, by the way, but this is just for now to get you sorted. And you want to make a crate. So I have my soul, it's really important and makes your life easy. You'll need planks, so let's make, uh, let's make some planks. And if you type in here crate, or you could go to that one, scroll down. And you'll need seven planks and three sticks, so you should pick up some sticks. So you want to make a couple of these and you should add a door, you make a door and by the way guys if you want to know how to craft all of these items you just type in unturned crafting, unturned metal door for example and it shows you how to craft it. So we we'll want to make a metal sheet, metal, metal sheet, you need two metal sheets and that's it. Wait. Don't have space. Two metal sheets to craft and one metal scrap. Here we go. 
we have our own simple home so what you should usually do do before going out to loot add the important weapons that you have so a hellhound is not really that important right now I have much better add a katana it's also sometimes I add some healings let's go with cough syrup I add the saw inside and yeah and I'd also add the high caliber and the housing housing planner and I could go out again to hunt now and find some more stuff so yeah so that's it for this basic gameplay video I hope you enjoyed it and 